Greeting, greeting, this is Mark Brown. We're going to be looking at how we can actually create a Venn diagram in this Microsoft Word document here. Very important, a Venn diagram. So the first thing that we wanted to do is we notice we have a blank page right here. The next thing that we want to go to, go to insert. When you go to insert, you notice insert is the tab. So you want to look for the word shift, right above the station. So you're going to click on word shift, right? You're going to click here, draw the circle like that. Notice it's very important right there. You can come right up here. Notice it's a shape style. I click right there, you go down arrow. You're going to click this one now. You notice, you bring it to black. But if you notice right over here, show the shape, you just click. And when you click, you're going to draw a circle just like that. You're going to carry it down just a bit like that. Remember now, when you do it like this. All right, so this is it for the circle here. All right, so after you do that, what well, the next thing that you wanted to do is come right back here. That's what you do. For the first one, you're going to click it. But if you notice, notice here, the circle doesn't show inside here. In order for you to do that, the first thing that you wanted to do, and I want you to look carefully. What you're going to do, you're going to come right up here. Notice the shape side. Notice the shape field. You're going to click right at the pointer here. Notice this column. It's going to come down to right here. That is a no field. So when it's a no field, you click. If you notice, this is the way it looks like now. Yes, yeah, very important. In order for you to put the numbers and support around it, you want to come right here, insert. You're going to come all the way down here. That is a text. So you're going to click on the text box. Right? You can either draw the text box or you can use one of these. So if you click on this one right here, notice. Right, so I'm going to put the text box. I can actually come right here. I can actually draw it in. So I'm going to move it. Move it completely. Right. Let me draw down this some more. Just like that. Let me draw down this one. Some more. Let me size it up some more here. Try it in a bit more. All right, good. Now we have this one right here. So I want to go right back again. Where is the insert? And you see a text box. So this time we're going to click right here. Notice it's a draw. So you can actually come right here and draw it. And then we're going to set B. Just the same. All right, so go up and insert. Text box right here, we're gonna draw right here. Right here. Good. Notice you come right up here, so now we're gonna click again on the text box. No, not wrap text. Let me go back to insert. All right, click on the text box right here. So you're gonna draw right here. Good. Notice you can insert again. We're going to draw a text box again. Plus, I'm going to draw it in the middle here. Right? So I'm going to put a number inside there. So, we're going to stretch out this some more to put 12 inside here. All right? So, we're going to click up my insert. I'm going to put our next text box right there. Trying it right here. We're gonna put it right here now. Right here. Right, and this time I'm gonna put F right here. Right, so this is very important so far. Right, let's dry it up some more. Right, very important. So not actually look this way. But if you notice this box here, you no know, look what I get rid of it. So we're gonna click on it. When you click on it, the next thing you wanted to do is come right to the top of this. Where it said style. So you're going to click on shape fill right here. Then you're going to come right here to say no fill. You're going to click on shape outline here yes, and click. I'm going to come along and say no outline. All right. If you notice, you haven't seen nothing there. All right. You're going to do the same thing for this one. Click on shape fill and then you go down to no fill. You click on shape outline and you say no outline. You're going to do this for everything. All right, shape fill. There's a no fill. 
it's a shape outline. There's a no outline. Click on this one here. Shape fill. No fill. Shape outline. There's a no outline. All right. So notice this one actually in just the same right here. Shape fill. There's a no fill right here. No outline. So this is the last one now. All right. So you want to click here. Shape fill. The no fill shape outline and said no outline. But if you notice, if you come like this, why notice is that the circle move and the number remain the same. What I wanted to do is to group everything together that they don't move. Right? So the first thing we want to do is put the cursor right side right and click and notice it highlight. So you're going to hold on a shift key on the keyboard, you're going to put the cursor side all of them. I'm going to highlight all of them just like that. Notice I highlight all of them. Oh, notice if I want to do it, I jump back up. Go back here, click again. All right, sometimes that's where it go. Now you click, up again. But make sure you hold on the shift key right there. Then we're going to click this one. We're going to click this one. Oh, why is jumping off? All right, we're going to click it again. It again. Right, so we're gonna work on this time. It's a good time with it. This trip, just like that. Going on so fine so far. Good, wonderful. So we do all of this, right? So the next thing that we wanted to do, definitely, we wanted to group it. But in order for us to group it. So we want to come right here. Notice this is the word format. We're going to click the word format. When you click on the word format here, what it does, notice you see the drawing tool, you see the particular group come down. But if you notice right on the arrange, you notice the word group right here. We're going to click on the pointer. Notice it's a group. When I click on group, you notice it's a box come over everything. All right. So if I, if I come right here and I try to drag it, you notice everything move. Together, nothing don't miss me. I can actually come right here. I can come like that. I can actually try it in just the same. Right? And if you click up any format, you notice if you come right here, you notice that's what can happen. Right? I can actually change the shape and all of that. So this is one of the ways you can actually create a Venn diagram. Right? It's very important. So if you have learned something from this particular video, just remember to share it to your friend and thanks for your time. See you in the next video.